Hearing gender insanity being pushed on our children is an act of child abuse. Very simple. Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Just want to get thoughts on what you think about Donald not agreeing with youth being transformed legally. Because if you recall, well, at least the last time I heard Biden talk about that, the idea that an eight-year-old child or a ten-year-old child decides, you know, I decided I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It'll make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination. And what's happening is too many transgender women of color are being murdered. Okay, two things about that. God does not make mistakes. So when you let a child do whatever a child wants to do like they're an adult, that's the era of a parent. A parent should be a parent. This is Dwayne Wade with his son in the middle. Somebody who he's letting transition go completely public. His child that he's putting on the front line and completely throwing out there to the wolves. This, my friend, I do not believe in being good parenting. When kids get 18, they're grown enough to do whatever they want to do. But you should raise them in the way they should be raised with God's moral law. And I also think it's interesting how people continue to bring up black minorities to push their wicked agenda. Am I the only one seeing that? Am I the only one seeing them continue to do that? They had a whole organization called Black Lives Matter that received millions and millions of dollars from individuals who were really putting their money where their heart was, thinking that they were doing something to benefit the community. But in all actuality, it was a corrupt organization receiving donations to put money into transgender programs. Am I the only one seeing this? I pray more people wake up, and I thank the Lord that he's shining light on a lot of this darkness now. At the end of the day, I'm not on this man's side, I'm not on that man's side, I'm completely team Jesus. I just thought it was interesting to show each individual's part on that situation. And I pray we all begin to have eyes to see and ears to hear and really see what's going on. It's time to bring things back to the way God intended it to be. Because the further we come out of that, and the more we do what we want to do, as far as our fleshly desires, the further we get away from God and the more wicked the earth will become. Take heed to the message, brothers and sisters. I love you guys. God bless.